types of which is segment 1. Today I will speak about the leadership and rule of the devil. This is not to glorify Satan or to teach you magic, but instead, it is because it is well known that before fighting against your enemy, it is best to know him. In these days, we will find out about the mysteries hidden in darkness. These days, we will talk more about black magic. The black magic is the worst plague that continues to destabilize our continent of Africa and especially without excluding here in the Congo. There are times where you can find the whole family being diagnosed or disturbed by one common illness and you may also find another family is having much more troubles during the time when they are giving birth. If you carefully look behind the curtain of all of these evils you will find that there are some rulers, princes of darkness or servants of the devil who are causing it. In my observation, I have learned that witches of the black magic are grouped into three groups. The first group of witches is witches who are being used by others. In other word, witches who are practicing witchcraft without them realizing it because they are being influenced by other people. This is the worst group of witches because their images are taken without them knowing or their consent, and they are subjected to wicked practices and conditions in order to harm others. The second witches are the self-employed, or self-styled witch. This is a witch, who even his conscience knows that he has witchcraft and practices it. In fact, this group of witches is given various titles in the world of darkness and is forced to marry. For a female sorcerer, she is forced to marry her son, and a male sorcerer is forced to marry his own daughter. To identify this type of witch, you will find that the mother has many children, but she loves and favors more one of her male children. And if this favorite son is married to a woman, you will find that even if he buys groceries, or he received any salary, he will only be mindful to give all the groceries and salaries to his witch mother and refuse to help his own wife. The reason behind this is because this man is bound by the wicked powers of his mother. Therefore, because of the jealousy that engulfs this wicked woman, she will start hating to see her daughter in law giving birth to children. As such, in order to ruin the life of this young woman who is married to her son, she will start coming during the night to her daughter-in-law with male dog sexual parts, to sleep with her and ruin her productive parts, so that she should no longer give her birth to normal babies. At this point, the woman will also start seeing her mother-in-law in her dreams, urging her to have sexual intercourse with her. For this reason, the daughter will begin to have abortions when she becomes pregnant, and most of her children will start dying prematurely. In return, the witch mother-in-law will start also sleeping with her own son and begin to bear children with him in the world of darkness. If you realize these mentioned signs or symptoms are happening in your life, I counsel you to please see God's servants. If you do not, one day these demonic activities will ruin your life and even kill you. In fact, this group of witches is regarded as devout witches. The devil is also actively using this group of sorcerers in the churches. When Satan sends them into the church, he challenges them to ask for a title or a certain valuable position. Therefore, the best positions they tend to occupy includes women president or any other high-ranking titles that will enable them to play bigger roles in different churches activities. As such, the devil will fight for this wicked woman so that she can at least secure a position in the church where she will also be able to influence others and lead them into the works of the devil. That is why it is very important for us to pray intensely to God before choosing a person or assigning them a certain role or position in church. It is also vital to test or understand the spiritual condition or level of that individual. As you can also tell, the devil is currently working arduously to interfere with church's matters so that he can destroy it. The third group of witches is called the blood sorcerer. You have to pay more attention. Now, this type of witches is the one I want to talk about in depth. I have told you at the beginning 
that this is a witch who has the ability to create something. This means this witch has witchcraft that is already mingled with his own blood. In other words, his wickedness is already in his blood. If this blood witch is a female, what she does is when a baby is born, she goes to a family that has been blessed with a baby and persuades the mother of the baby to show her the baby and allow her to breastfeed the baby on her behalf. This is my advice to all of you who are new moms. If you have a baby, let no one else breastfeed your baby on your behalf. If you allow that and let your child be breastfed by a blood wizard, your child will be influenced and infected with the blood witchcraft and becomes also a blood witch even though he is still young. The sign that will inform you that your child has already acquired blood witchcraft is this, when you are breastfeeding your baby, he will begin to suck your breast aggressively and reach to the point of hurting you and leave your breasts or nipples bleeding. Apart from this sign, you will also begin to notice that when your child reaches the age of three, he still looks more immature compared to his age. Instead of his full body to grow up, you will notice that only his head is getting bigger and bigger. Now, when a blood sorcerer successfully reaches five years in this group of witchcraft, she will be called to attend an initiation ceremony in the world of darkness, where she will also be celebrated and given the power of a certain beast or animal. This celebration is called totem. During the ceremony, this witch will then be given a seed to plant at her home so that it can grow and ultimately be a bigger tree. This tree will only be visible spiritually in the dark world but it will not be seen in this physical world. The tree will bear fruits which are exactly the same as the number of that witch's children. This means if the witch has ten children, the tree will also bear ten fruits. Every year in the world of darkness, there will be a demonic wind that will be directed towards that tree. If during the time that wind blew, the tree becomes shaken and one fruit falls, the same will happen to the family of that witch that one of her children will die. This situation continues to take place each year until all the fruits fall and all those children die. Regarding the totem issue, this witch will be given the ability to transform himself into an animal. Like a dog or a cat. Even myself, who is talking to you here. I was also given these powers. When I was asked for a beast I like, I mentioned the cat. I was transforming myself into a cat before going to the world of darkness. This means I took all the characters and behaviors of a cat. I liked it. Because the cat is able to hide without having any problem. If you look at the cat, you will find that the cat may be in the house, but no one will be able to recognize it. Even if it passes near you, you would not recognize it or hear the footsteps sounds as a cat is a very silent animal. So what do they do to get someone to be transformed into an animal? They get the heart and blood of the animal and then they tell the witch to eat that heart and drink the blood. In most of the times, for witches to be transformed into the animal, they have to run around the toilet seven times and then the whole body will be turned into that animal. Listen to me attentively my beloved in the church. When a witch walks into the dark world the first report she is told to give is about her family. The report that they have to give is not limited to a few issues only. An example of this report includes marriage or wedding preparations that are happening. In the family, guests who are being expected to visit the family and other internal or external family issues. When the report is given, the witches gather together to curse and overthrow any plan that is already underway. So it is my advice to you that everything you plan to do should be prepared and done in prayer by leaving everything in God's hands. To get rid of that created wedding plan or to make sure that they negatively affected, witches will prepare gifts and send them into the world of darkness. The sorcerers will surround those gifts while Singing mystical chants so that they can enchant, spoil, and defile those gifts. Then they will write down the names of people who are going to be wedded and start to curse and declare other maledictions toward against the groom and bride. 
After that, the witches will come out of the world of darkness with those cursed gifts one day before. The wedding day. Then on the wedding day, the witches will bring those cursed gifts so they can. Give them to the bride and groom who are getting married. That is why I advise couples that when people bring them a gift during the wedding ceremony, they should give them to the pastor first so that he can pray for them, then he can give them back to them. Apart from the issues of gifts, the second thing which is attacks is food. Witches do all their best to defile the food that has been prepared for the wedded couple. And this kind of food problems is also mostly initiated by family members. You will find that from the beginning of everything about the wedding, the church was always consulted, but when it comes to food preparations, you will see that the family members will rise and begin to forbid the church members from supervising food preparation and then they start inviting new people who no one knows to come and cook the food for the wedding. And among these people, witches will also infiltrate themselves in. Let me tell my friends, there is no other places that witches prefer to play eminent roles than at the celebratory events. They love these places. That's why it's not good to rush to eat at parties or other celebratory events, such as weddings. Without permission, as you may end up dying a death that was not meant to be yours. There are some times where you may find that you missed or you were not given food at these events on purpose. It happens. My advice to you in such situations is that you should thank God. Even in that situation. This is so as you may find that God did it on purpose in order to prevent you from eating defiled, or poison food that witches had already spoiled with their witchcraft. Something else sorcerers also does to the newlywed couples is to bring them clothes for both the bride or groom to wear. After giving these clothes to the couples, witches will then come the next day to collect those clothes and take them to the world of darkness. In this case, witches will use these clothes to block the womb of the bride so that she may become barren. So I advise you not to be so absorbed in the cultural traditions but instead should obey Christian laws. In the next teaching, I will explain more about the occult blood witchcraft and other many activities that witches do. God bless you.